This is Odin's Wolf Survival from the Great Forest of Kansas. Today we're going to light up the what everybody calls a buddy burner. This is a, basically a paraffin wax wicking stove. And previous video that will be in the description in the link is a link on how to make it. So we'll light it up right now. These take a little bit to get going. They're usually easier after the first or second burn to get going. Starting to get up and fired up and going. These will smoke a little bit, just it's an inefficient burn. So whatever you put over them, just be aware that you'll be scrubbing the bottom of your pot if you like it nice and shiny because it's going to darken it up. Me, I tend to use them outside so it doesn't really matter if they get darkened up. The way I see it, Clean camp gear, clean camp gear is kind of like girl hands on a man. Shouldn't happen. <laughs> first we'll hit, first we'll heat up our tea. And all these are four, five hole bricks and two of the long, long bits. Put your cup in there on the upwind side with the handles on the upwind side. We'll start heating up some tea. Okay, the water's pretty well where I want it. It's just starting, bubbles are starting to form up. So we'll set this aside and let it do its thing. You can see it's burning pretty good now. And then this is what I prepared to cook over it. We've got basically a cheaper version of spam that somebody sent me that they wanted me to try white onion I put some soy sauce in it turmeric black pepper Cajun uh, slap your mama Cajun spice stone ground mustard and a little bit of Tabasco sauce yeah I like things kind of warm this is a seven inch plate from Boundless Voyage. They call it a plate bowl something. I don't know, I'll put a link in the description of what it is. It's it's titanium also, imagine that. Now that'll be hot to take off of there, so have gloves, pot grabber, pair of pliers, something that you can get hold of that to pick it up with. Okay, you can already hear that sizzling, so it's starting to cook already. I gotta get a hold of it a little bit before I flip it in the fire, which has been known to happen. That actually smells pretty good. I haven't eaten much today, so I'm kind of hungry. I got this in an orange. If you have any luck, you could get that orange to where you can pull the wick or pull it out to make a light. 
not sure I'm going to be that lucky today. You gotta smell this. It smells pretty good. We'll help this one out a little bit. There will be a candle for later. I did it with the last time I did it. I did it with canola oil. This time I'm a. I'm just gonna see how it works with motor oil. It's gonna be a nastier burn, but I'm curious if it'll wick it. I'm think. I think it will. This is smelling really good. You can see it's cooking pretty fast. Got the stone ground mustard mixed through it nicely. Okay, that should do it. Put it on the heat on the other side a little. Hmm. Tea's progressing very nicely. See how this is. Hmm. That come out all right. That's a nice mix. Take it off. Set it to the side. We'll let it cool a little. No, I'm not grabbing that. It's going to be hot. We'll let that cool. Okay, now take these bricks out of the way and we'll put our burner out. Once you got that, find you another, have another can of the same size or a plate. Anything, you could actually use the plate that you were cooking on. 
just set it on top and all it'll do is suffocate it. There it is. Let it cool off. The wax will solidify back up that's in there and your burn next time will be easier. I'll have to see if I can light that up with a ferrocium rod. Now that we've got the black charcoal going, a little bit of grass or tinder on top, you could light that with a ferrocium rod quite easily, I'm sure. All right, now that we've got that far, I'm going to eat supper. And everybody have a glorious day. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share. Helps me out with YouTube. And get out in nature and enjoy yourself.